What's up fellow Martians? So, recently I upgraded my RAM from 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. When did you go play some Spider-Man, the new Modern Warfare 2 beta, some Fortnite, Apex, you know, all the AAA games that are all nowadays. And I was just looking at my frame rate, and then I thought to myself, does having more RAM really make a difference when it comes to gaming? I remember when I first got my PC and I had like four gigabytes of RAM and my games used to run like absolute trash. Like I was stuttering, my frame rates couldn't even get to the minimum threshold. And I'm like, what the hell, man? Like what's going on? So soon after that, I upgraded to eight gigs and everything was pretty cool until I started video editing and I went to 16 and then, oh my gosh, whew, Adobe on eight gigs of RAM is, oh my gosh. If you know, you know. But going from eight gigs to 16 gigs, I did see a little bit of a difference in my gaming. Especially if I'm gaming and watching a movie or streaming or watching a movie or streaming and gaming I saw a tremendous difference, but from 16 to 32 We're gonna see in this video I did five tests on five different games to see which memory had the best outcome for the FPS 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes so before we get into the video, let's talk about how RAM affects the gaming in the first place. If you don't care about the technical side of things and don't really want to nerd out, it's okay, it's fine. You can skip to the time code posted below to where I start to test the games out. But if you do care, let's talk a little bit. Now, RAM stands for Random Access Memory. It's basically a computer short-term memory, where the data that the process is currently used is stored. RAM is much faster than an SSD or an HSD. That's why RAM is so important. If you didn't have RAM, your PC wouldn't even turn on, no cap. Whether it's a PC, a Mac, cell phone, or even your smart TV, it requires some amount of RAM in order to run. Now, in order to better understand RAM, let's make an analogy to your work desk. The top of your work desk is more like things you're working on currently and that you need to access quickly. But for things that you don't need to access, you would tend to put them into your drawer. So in this case, just like your PC, the top of your desk is your RAM, and your drawers are your SSDs and your hard drives. RAM is used for immediate data retrieval. To accomplish a specific task, computer operating systems load data from the hard drive into the RAM to process it. When it's finished actively working with the data, your computer operating system would then put the data stored in the RAM back into your hard drive or your SSD. So how much memory do you actually need, and what can you do with certain amounts of memory? With 4 gigabytes, it's more for normal web browsing, basic app usage, and more for the casual user. 8 gigabytes, you'll be able to see more multitasking being handled on. It is also the bare minimum for most games nowadays. And when you get to 16 gigabytes, the minimum for most hardware gaming PCs, you get into your more heavy duty multitasking, more casual gaming, and just better for just multitasking in general. And 32 is when you get to the heavy programming, hair hardcore gaming, streaming, it's what most editors and streamers use when it comes to their RAM. Now, when it comes to gaming, RAM is very important. It is important because your system can access the data more quickly than it can access it from a HDD or an SSD. If you had the entire game's data stored on your hard drive or a solid state drive, but constantly pulling it from there is insufficient. Thus, your computer moves the game information it will need to the RAM in order to quickly load it. With low RAM, your computer won't be able to store all the game's info it needs to run leading to choppy gameplay, low frame rates, and poor rendering. And extreme like a RAM will even prevent the game from working at all. But when it comes to gaming, can you have too much RAM? Let's find out. I tested five games, Fortnite, the Modern Warfare 2 Open Beta, Apex Legends, Cyberpunk, and Amazing Spider-Man for PC. All these games will be tested on DDR4 RAM at 2,666 megahertz. I will be using the following specs for my PC, Windows 11, an AMD Ryzen 5 5600X 6 core processor, an AMD Radeon RX 67 XT, the 16 gigabytes of RAM will be a Crucible Ballistic Sports LT, and the 32 gigabytes of RAM will be a Team Group T Force Delta RGB. The following games were all also tested on the highest graphical settings and at 1080p. For the Modern Warfare 2 open beta, I actually saw something very interesting with the results. But well, comparing the two datas, I actually saw that the 16 gigabytes had a higher FPS on average than the 32 gigabytes. Not by much, only like a 0.5 margin, but it was still higher. The minimum frame rate was about around the same, being around 98 FPS, and the maximum for the 32 gigabytes was able to provide more, being 175 FPS versus the 16 gigabytes 162 FPS. For the 1% low frame rate, the 16 gigabytes had 99.8 FPS compared to the 32 counterpart having only 29.6 FPS. 
for the .01 low frame rate. This 16 gigabytes has 69.4 FPS compared to 32 gigs having only 28.2. This is very interesting. The game seems pretty really optimized, so I don't think you need to have 32 gigabytes to play Modern Warfare 2 if you when it comes out. For the next game, we have the Amazing Spider-Man for PC. With 32 gigabytes of RAM, did it tremendously outperform the 16 gigabytes? The average frame rate is almost 30 more frames. The 32 gigs of RAM had about 98.1 FPS, while the 16 gigs had around 65.9 FPS. The minimum frame rate for the 32 gigs was 92, while 47 was for the 16 gigs. For the maximum frame rate, it was around the same. They both peaked around 95 frames per second, and for the low 1%, the 32 gigs had a 77.7 .7 FPS while the 16 gigs only had a 36.6 FPS. And for the 1% low frame rate, around the same 77.7 for the 32 gigabytes of RAM, and for the 16 gigabytes, 15.1. So if you want to play Spider-Man on PC, I definitely think 32 gigs is perfect. So in the next game, we have Apex Legends. And what I saw from this data is that they basically had around the same frame rate for all the margins. It capped out at around 143 frames per second for both the 16 gig and the 32 gig. So if you want to play Apex Legends, I think either one will work, either 16 gigabytes or 32 gigabytes. For the minimum frame rate, we had a 15.6 FPS for the 32 gig, and for the 16 gigabytes, we had 4.4 FPS. The maximum frame rates were exactly the same at 145.1 FPS, and with the low percent on the 32 gigabytes only being 108.2 FPS and for the 16 gigabytes being around 43.5 FPS. For the 0.01% frame rate, we have a 14.6 for the 32 gigs. And for the 16 gigabytes, we have a 3.3 FPS. If you're looking to play Apex Legends only, then I don't recommend upgrading the 32 gigs for this, for this game. 16 gigs should be successful enough. Next, we have everybody's favorite game, Fortnite. So Fortnite is pretty interesting too because I saw some pretty similar data between the two different types of RAM. The 32 gigs had a 90 FPS, while the 16 gig had around 86 FPS on the average. Only about a 5 FPS difference between the two. The minimum frame rate is around the same, being around 42 frames per second, and the maximum frame rate was also around the same, clocking out at about 125 FPS. For the 1% low frame rate, this 32 gigs had a 21.1 FPS, while the 16 gigs had about a 15.5 FPS. Not too far off. Even the 0.01% low frame rate was about the same as well, being at 2.9 FPS. So if you're looking to play Fortnite, I definitely think 16 gigabytes is just enough. Lastly, we have Cyberpunk, and for this game, we also saw some pretty similar results as well. The 32 gigs had a little higher frame rate, being around 76.9 FPS on average, while the 16 gigabytes had a 74.8 frame rate on average. The minimum frame rate was about the same as well, being around 60 frames per second, which is pretty good for a story player game open world. The maximum frame rate for the 32 gigs was around 400, which is around 460, which I think is because I paused the game mid-game which probably could have boosted the average frame rate just a little bit. But for the 16 gigs, it was around 100 FPS. So that's pretty good if you ask me for an open world game. The 1% low frame rate for the 32 gigs was 45.2 FPS. For the 16 gigs, it was 46.7 FPS, so a little higher. And for the 0.01 low frame rate, it was about 9.6 for the 32 gigabytes. And for the 16 gig, 11.2. So if you're looking to play Cyberpunk or any open world game, if that's fact, I think 16 gigs is just enough. Now, when looking back at the results, I really didn't see too much of an improvement going from 16 gigabytes to 32 gigabytes. It's probably because most games don't require more than eight gigs of RAM to even run properly. If you have more RAM than what's required, the extra RAM could actually be going to waste. To illustrate this, let's think about a storage container for liquid. If you need to store a gallon of water, but only have a half a gallon tank, you're not gonna be able to fit that whole gallon in that tank. But let's say you have a 10 gallon tank, Yes, you will be able to fit that gallon of water, but you're also wasting 9 gallons of space. While it's good to have extra RAM for future proofing, unused RAM is actually just a waste. But don't get me wrong, if you're streaming, doing heavy video editing, or just like opening a billion Google Chrome tabs, then I think 32 gigabytes would be perfect for you. I think you're future proofing yourself for when games become real life, and you need at least 32 gigabytes to render them, but I don't think we're gonna be there anytime soon. So instead of upgrading, you could possibly use that extra $50 for more computer accessories, 
better fans, a better cooling case, or even a better processor. Just make sure to spend your money wise. Thank you for listening. If you like the video and want to see more like this, don't forget to leave a like and even subscribe so that you won't miss the next video. Comment down below what you want to see in the future. And I'm Marco the Martian. And y'all stay extraterrestrial, man. Peace.